Hi, Martin here. Today, I'm going to install the Harlan Sharp Roller Rockers. Um, there are these babies right here. They're beautiful. Um, these are like a needle pin roller rocker. Got the roller on the valve tip. And um, it tells you to soak these in a break-in oil for, I think it was 24 hours. Well, I've been doing it for about two months and uh, finally getting around, okay, we're going to install them. So, uh, I'll show you how that's done. Let's get to it. All right, one of the first things I'm going to do is disconnect all the uh, throttle cables. There's the throttle one right there. That one pops off pretty nice. And this one here. Ones like this, bring your throttle up and just push forward. Just like that. Okay, got those three disconnected. Alright, now remove the bracket. It goes so we can take this out of here. Now your factory setup will probably use like a 10 millimeter bolt. And then pop these off of here. Be kind of careful with these. These can be rather brittle and break. You could also probably lift that whole plastic piece off of there as well. My particular application is going to look a little different. I've got my map sensor mounted on here because of the 68mm uh, throttle body. Of course, you won't have, most likely won't have this on yours. I'll need to remove the uh, air intake here. Now, got the one vacuum hose on the throttle body. And then we also have the throttle cable going across there. And you also have the two heater hoses right there. Okay. Now, we just need to remove the bolts that hold on the valve cover. It is a 11 millimeter socket I'm using. Now, the hard ones to get to are the two in the back. I'm using a socket with a uh, swivel on here. Bolts removed. Come on. I don't know if 
that's the wiring is causing a problem here. Yep, it is. So I just pulled a fuel injector wiring harness off of the off of there and it seemed to help. It smells kind of nasty. There we go. Now there's a stock gasket in there. I'm going to change that out as well. You can just grab hold of that and lift that up. There's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean the surface around here too. Just want, I want to make sure we don't get any foreign matter in the motor. Now actually to clean up around that surface, this might all be easier once you remove the rockers. Uh, this takes a half inch. Everything looks pretty clean in here. There's not a bunch of carbon buildup or anything like that from blow by. Engine probably pretty healthy yet. 200,000 miles. Can remove this as a set. So, go ahead and remove all these rockers. Leave the push rods intact. These, uh, they come with these little pedestal mount things right here that you're going to put in. Now, what I'm going to do is just dab a little oil. And this is uh, actually the break-in oil. Line these up. I use a quarter inch Allen. Okay, I've already dabbed the oil on there. I put this kind of together as an assembly. You got the whole thing right there with these pedestal spacers in there.
do this, make sure your push rods are in that socket. If not, you're definitely going to have some problems. And I take them down evenly, a little bit at e on each side at a time. Back and forth. All right, with all the rockers installed, I'm just going to give each one a little bit of oil right there so they don't start out dry, even though I did soak them in the uh, break-in oil for quite a while. Alright, now with the rockers installed, move to the valve cover. Um, you're going to want to clean up this surface really good. And there may be a clearance issue with the rockers. So what they recommend is to take this baffle out of here. Um, not quite sure how that's done, but we'll give it a shot. You may need to pry this up just a little bit here. Right, like that. And then you can get right in there with the tin snips and cut it right off. So get in here with a screwdriver and pry that up just a little bit. And we can get the tin snips under, under there. Get them under here and cut. It's definitely loose. There you go. It's out of there. All right, now we want to get this valve cover really clean. I'd get out some brake parts cleaner, parts washer, something to clean this up with. And make sure you get your mating surface right here on the valve cover. Get that all really clean. Okay, I've installed the new Felpro gasket right here. And we got the valve cover all cleaned up. The Felpro gasket does come with these new rubber um, grommets right here that you pulled the uh, washer out and replace them and actually all of mine were in real good condition except the one so I'm going to replace the one these don't actually do any of the sealing the gasket does all the work so at this point we're ready to put the valve cover back on Reinstall the bolts. And actually, you got two different type of bolts right here, um, and you got to use the right ones in the right locations because they use these to do certain things. 
like hold the heater hose in its proper location. So, right, put that one right there. I'm just going to snug these up for right now. Okay, I got the valve cover all torqued down. Now it's just a matter of hooking everything back up again. Got the heater hose put back in place. Bring the throttle bracket. All right, get everything hooked up to the throttle body again. This is very simple. Just put these on here, push, hook it on, push. This one's a hair bit different than a factory one. I gotta just get it in there like that. It's just a tad harder factory. There you go. You snap back on. Okay. That should be everything. Fire it up. Sounds great. Well, the install is complete, it went well. I just got to take it for a little test drive, make sure it got no oil leaks around the valve cover gasket. I don't expect any. Um, thing sounds great. I'm not sure it's something that you're gonna have a seat in the pants feeling, you know, horsepower gain. Um, there's, it's just less resistance from the rocker touching the stem and the actual rocker the way it it moves there's going to be less friction on these type um, it would have to be a dyno thing that you would actually see any kind of horsepower gain well time to take it for a drive and see what you really do um, thanks for watching and please subscribe and give me a thumbs up appreciate it thank you